Alabama's 5th Congressional District is a U.S. congressional district in Alabama, which elects a representative to the United States House of Representatives. It encompasses the counties of Lauderdale, Limestone, Madison, Morgan and most of Jackson. It is currently represented by Republican Mo Brooks, a former Madison County Commissioner. Brooks was elected in 2010 after defeating Democrat-turned-Republican incumbent Parker Griffith in the 2010 Republican primary. Brooks later went on to defeat Democrat Steve Raby in the November general election. Character Two major economic projects have lastingly impacted the 5th District and have indelibly dictated the politics of North Alabama for most of the 20th century. Before 1933, the northern Alabama counties were characteristically poor, white and rural. The Tennessee Valley Authority's TVA arrival changed much of that, slowly transforming the demographic towards technical and engineering employees. The second major project was the space and rocketry programs including Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville where the first large U.S. ballistic missiles were developed. Additionally, NASA built the Marshall Space Flight Center in the Huntsville-Decatur area during the 1960s. In the late 1950s northern Alabama came to be dominated by the high-tech and engineering industries, a trend which has continued up to the present. In recent years, the United Launch Alliance has located its research center in Decatur. As a result, Huntsville has become the second largest and fastest growing metropolitan area in Alabama. For a time, the district bucked the increasing Republican trend in Alabama. It was the only district in the state that supported Walter Mondale in 1984, but hasn't supported a Democrat for president since then. Democrats continue to hold most offices at the local level, and continue to hold most of the district's seats in the Alabama state legislature until the Republicans swept nearly all of North Alabama's seats in 2010. In the mid-1990s, it was a seriously contested seat, with longtime Democratic incumbent Bud Kramer winning re-election by only 1,770 votes in 1994. However, Kramer was elected five more times with 70% or more of the vote and even ran unopposed in the Democratic landslide year of 2006. Kramer did not seek re-election in 2008. Parker Griffith, a retired oncologist and state senator, won the open seat in November 2008. However, in December 2009, Griffith became a Republican. Until Griffith's switch, the district had been one of the last in the former Confederacy not to have sent a Republican to the U.S. Congress since Reconstruction. Griffith was ousted in the Republican primary by current Representative Mo Brooks. George W. Bush won 60% of the vote in this district in 2004. John McCain also carried the 5th district in 2008 with 60.91% of the vote while Barack Obama received 37.99%. Recent election results from statewide races <laughs> List of members representing the district <laughs> Previous election results Topic two thousand two. Topic two thousand four. Topic two thousand six. Topic two thousand eight. Parker Griffith switched parties on December 22, 2009, and became a Republican. Topic 2010. Topic Republican primary. Topic General election. Topic twenty twelve.
2016 Living former members As of April 2015, there are three former members of the U.S. House of Representatives from Alabama's 5th Congressional District that are currently living. The most recent representative to die was Robert E. Jones, Jr. on June 4, 1997. Historical district boundaries See also Alabama's congressional districts List of United States congressional districts